Today on the show, Apple's gonna sell apples where you can buy apples. Scientists find the pill for fat people to make them not fat, and more. I'm James Papadopoulos. Welcome to TechSpain. The iPhone 4S launch in China isn't going smoothly. At all. I mean, they had to call on the SWAT team to deal with the massive crowds, most of which were scalpers trying to get the phones to sell on the black market. They actually had to stop selling the things completely, which caused angry shoppers to throw eggs at stores. It's kind of trashy, actually. Not very good PR. Lucky for Apple, there's some other news that could help class up their image. They're planning on opening around 25 Apple mini stores inside of Target. I, I mean, Target. While they've sold iPods and small stuff for a while, these stores will be more like the ones in Best Buy, which sell computers and have dedicated staff to help customers with buying decisions. So now while shopping for apples, you can buy a Mac. Classy, classy Target. In the same breath, Target announced they'd be trying out other store within a store shops for other smaller retailers like Privet House, which sells a poof for $159. A poof is an ottoman. It's also another word for but I'm pretty sure that they're talking about an ottoman here. Anyway, now there's no word on this spreading to Target's biggest competitor, Walmart, but I think that's a good thing since while Target can sometimes make tacky choices, Walmart's just, well, let's put it this way. I grew up in New York City and we don't have Walmarts here. So a few weeks ago, I took a drive with my sister to a Walmart for the first time and it was horrible. The website People of Walmart have it right on the money. <sighs> Look at that. In fact, check out this photo I took while online. These guys finished an entire bag of cheese doodles and a liter of Mountain Dew while standing in front of me in line. Seriously. Gentlemen, if you're listening, this next story is for you. In a recent discovery, a team led by scientist Bruce Spiegelman found a hormone that causes fat to turn into heat-generating brown fat. They call it irisin. And they think it might be part of a natural defense system against cold temperatures. The same kind of thing that makes us shiver when we get cold in order to generate heat. The interesting thing here is that they think that if they come up with a way to give it to us in mega doses, it could help burn calories, help diabetics, and even help people gain strength, which is interesting for people with neuromuscular diseases like muscular dystrophy. In mice, the hormones seem to keep a high fat diet from causing them to actually get fat. The benefits of this could be huge. Get it? Huge. However, according to the good doctor, I'm optimistic, I just don't want to overpromise and underdeliver. Hmm. Well, we'll keep an eye on this. Speaking of under-delivering, expect to see more of me than you did last year. More giveaways, more stupidity, more text bank. Well, that's all for this episode. Thanks for clicking play, and I'll see you next time.